Getting ready to go live in five minutes and I sold something on Vamp. Good morning, you two. Good morning, Maybell. Good morning, Fluffer Pants. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Mr. Fluffer. Maybell. Okay. Purdue lost last night, Maybell. Mark is sad. He stayed up really late. Now he has to go to work. What do you think about Purdue losing, Maybell? It was very, very sad. But the the other team played better. That's just the way it goes. Right, Maybe Fluffer? Right, Mark? Right. Yeah. All right. We're gonna get ready to go on to get to get ready for our day too. We gotta go work. Yay! Hello. <clears throat> Happy ninth day of April. I hope that you guys all had a fantastic eclipse. If you were able to witness any of it, either in totality or partial, it's still an amazing thing to do. So I hope that you got to see a little bit of it. Ooh, don't fall. You fell. You fell. Today's Starbucks Tuesday. So thanks to Logan and Stinker Fred, I was able to go get, and Stinker Fred's wife, I was able to go get some Starbucks. I got the brown sugar shaken espresso with two extra shots of espresso. Oh, now you feel like you can't see my head very much. Okay. Ooh. You know, I have all these tripods. I should be using them. I had an eBay sale overnight. This Kate Exfolicate sold on eBay, so I will get that shipped and ready. Um, and I got to do some shipping from Vamp, my Vamp sales. I have a live sale today at 1 and a live sale today at 5, but I've got some shipping that I need to do. So we're going to do our affirmations first. A year of positive thinking for the 9th of April. Affirmation warning. Judgment. Ooh. Condemnation doesn't teach others a lesson. Instead, it hardens the heart and creates separation in the exact place that connection is needed. When your first reaction is to disapprove of someone's choice, make an effort to be more kind instead. Withhold judgment. One day it could be you making a choice someone else doesn't approve of. Listen, I, I, I hear what they're saying, but sometimes we, we find ourselves around people that continuously make bad choices and then they're coming to you and they're wanting your advice and your help. And as a friend, you're being truthful and you're being honest and you're giving them some advice that they never follow. And then the next week they've got the same issue and another issue. And I think that there, there is time in your life when you have when you're on this hamster wheel and you yourself are getting exhausted by this person's constant something going on and I think that it's okay to distance yourself from people that are constantly stripping you of all of your joy and happiness and they're just you're trying to help them and they're coming and they're asking for advice and for help and they listen and then it, the pattern keeps repeating so I think there are times that you can be like enough is enough I can't do this anymore and not feel guilty about that so while I understand that to not be judgmental of people you also can reach your limits you can reach your limits and you have to decline interaction sometimes all right we're picking our daily affirmation card and this says a little smidge of manners goes a long way each and every day saying thank you holding doors venmoing right away instead of waiting for the awkward request no one wants to have to send i don't know what that really means but there you go a little smidge of manners goes a long way. I had seen, and I think I shared it on my Instagram, I had seen a post, 
and it was of a lady going up to another lady at um, an airline counter. And the lady was kind of emotional, and she said, I just want to stop you and tell you that I saw you smile at all of these people. And I wa sat here and watched you provide excellent care to these people, and I just want to say thank you. And just know that I saw you doing that, and kindness goes a long way. And I thought, how nice. So I think that it is a good idea, whether you're at like Walmart or at the grocery store account, and you notice a worker helping somebody, or just ultimately having a smile on their face and treating treating their their guest their guests with respect. I think those small little moments do. I think that we should start saying instead of instead of being a bad Karen, you know, go up there and say, "I'm just letting you know." that I'm watching you and you're doing a really good job. And I saw that you treated those people with kindness and just wanted to let you know that it was noticed. I think we could really start something here if we did something like that. Let's challenge ourselves just to pass compliments to someone. You never know, that could just totally change their life and their outlook on things. So let's do that. I think that we should. I really do. All right. I'm going to get started on the shipping. I also am turning my taxes in today. And we'll hope for the best with that. We'll have a couple sales today. Oh, hang on. I do have something I want to open. We're just going to continue to stand up here. I got a couple cards. This one's from Viera. And they live in California. Knows how to party. Oh, look at that. That's a, there's a blue cow. What was that, Elsie the cow? I think so. Oh, look, I like your little, your little fringe. That's what that is. Okay. Oh, this is from Julie, Fabric and Treasures. Dear Misty, thank you is not enough, but I am so honored to be a part of VAMP. Julie, we're honored to have you on VAMP. I discovered you during COVID and have not missed a video since. I even watched the replays of your sales so I can learn. Thank you, Julie. You are so inspiring, and you and Michael make a great team and are wonderful teacher supporters and all-around cheerleaders for every seller. I hope to become more comfortable and polished doing my live sell someday. I hope that I can meet and give you a big hug. Best of luck with Emma's wedding. It can be a stressful time. When the day comes, every bit and worry and stress is worth it. I so enjoy watching you and making thrifting together. Or, and Mark thrifting together. His lasting expressions are priceless. They can be. Hugs to you and your family. And your dad rocks. Julie, Fabric and Treasures. That was so sweet, Julie. I, I'll keep my these little notes. And sometimes when I'm having a dark day, I pull them out and read them. And you all just make me so happy. And Julie, we're honored to have you on as Vamp. So thank you. Thank you for believing in us. All right. This next one is from Janice. And Janice lives in Virginia. Virginia. West Virginia. That's, that's not that's not Virginia. That's West Virginia. Mount Mama, take me home. I don't want to sing that, Julie. You'll be like, no! Not West Virginia. Virginia. Janice sent me a Starbucks card. Did you hear that, Starbucks? We'll be back. Hey, Misty girl. That's so sweet, Janice. May this absolutely brighten your days for you are always a ray of sunshine for all of us who enjoy your content and shop long so vlog. Even when you and Mark travel and go with, we get to go with y'all as we are as well as vintage sales. Know this lady, you make a difference and encourage all of us. Thank you so much, Janice. That's so sweet. I'm a woman who puts my faith in the Lord first and foremost, and the Lord allows me to share encouraging texts with over a thou over a hundred in our church body and family to live joyful. See that what Janice, what we're talking about is going is going a long way. It really, really is. Going up to people and just sending them a random message. Sometimes that's all it takes. You touch hearts and lives. Thank you so much, Janet. Here's Starbucks gift card for you to enjoy. Hope you smile knowing you make others smile. Oh, Janet. You just made me feel so good. Oh, I'm going to put this with my 
with my little card, my feel good cards. Janice, thank you very, very much. And keep up that good work of spreading positivity to others as well. All right, this is from Nan. Nanny Banani. She lives in Minnesota. Minnesota, where the lakes are all the over the place. I don't know. That's where I, I keep singing the wrong song, song. That's not Oklahoma. Does Minnesota have a theme song, Nan? Let me know in the comments. Minnesota. Oh, well, I see a picture of our baby Zacky Poo. Oh, my goodness. Well, I can show you this one because you don't, you don't see his little face. He's eating with a fork and spoon, Nan. He's eating with a fork and spoon. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, I will save Nan's letter. She writes me nice letters, Nan does. I will save that. Vamp Camp, story with Nan. I love that. I'll have to read your note here in just a second. Nan sent me one. Oh, my gosh. Nan sent me one of her treasures. Look, it's an Eloise Wilkin book. Nan makes this. Nan made this, baby dear. Oh, and there's little goodies on the inside because it's like a junk journal. Oh, I absolutely love this. Look at Eloise Wilkin. That's the baby. I still want that doll. If you find one, good Lord, they are, they are, they command some money. Look at this with all the little stuff that you can put in your junk journal. I need to save this for my future grandbaby because it's baby deer. I love that, Nan. Look at these little envelopes. Nan sells these on Vamp. So she takes vintage books and she creates them into these journals. You know you want one. They're so, so good. All right, so I made this spiral journal just for you. These little journals aren't functional in the sense of diary keeping or other regimen of writing. I don't think they sometimes have the charm of their own, but a one of a kind, they do have possibilities. Use the, the blank pages are good for uh, gluing or sketching. Glue in a pocket and put stuff in it. Journals like this are great secret keepers. Are you carrying a sadness or a worry? Write it down. Tuck it inside your little journal. Put it on a post-it. and Let the journal hold it for a while. That's good advice. Plus, you have the full text and illustration on all the pages of Baby Deer by Eloise Wilkin. Well, Elster Wilkin and Pictures by Eloise Wilkin. Did you know the two were sisters? I did. I've got to sit down. I've done research on them and then completely forgot most of the research that I've done. You're falling again, Nan. We're making, you're making us fall, Nan. That one right here that's on this book, if you find one in it, even even if it looks like it could just walk up and run out the room itself, it's, it's worth some money. So Nan's note is just really sweet in Nan's way, talking about her sales on VAMP and her sales on eBay, and that one day she's thinking that she might want to do a live sale. You know what I'm gonna say to that, don't you, Nan? Sometimes you just gotta go for it. You do, and those of you that have done live sales that never in a million years thought that you would, you do one and you're like, I wanna do another one. They're fun. Because you're hanging out with you're hanging out with people who are very like minded and who enjoy these things too. So it does make a difference. So love you, Nan, and thank you so much for my book. I will treasure it. Treasure it. So this next one is from Miriam Cipriano. She's got that nice Italian name. Oh, she's in Ohio, so she's my neighbor. Nan's not my neighbor. She she she's a couple states away. Miriam Shipria. Ooh, we got an import, important date coming up. So I'm going to need these for this. I'll open up Marie's card first. That's pretty. Keeping in touch with these, those we care about, is what makes every season special. 
at Easter. Misty, I want to thank you for all the laughs when I'm watching your channel and when you read the affirmations. Thank you so much. I might be coming to see you at the pop-up in June. May you, Mark and Fluff her pants, and Maybell have a wonderful and blessed Easter. Your friend, Miriam. Miriam sent me socks of my boyfriend. Right there he is. And our little baby. Our little baby Grogu. Oh my gosh. I need to watch these when the Mandalorian comes out. When I'm cold and freezing at night. Thank you so much, Miriam. That was very, very sweet. I will take those home with me and get them on. Because I freeze at night. So thank you guys all so much for that sweet friend mail. I really do appreciate it. You're so nice. Thank you. Okay, now I have got to get this shipping done. I do, I gotta get this shipping done. Okay, getting ready to have my live sale. I got all of the shipping done from my vamp sale. I had my meeting, but I sold the another Kate Somerville Exfoliate, no, Eradicate, Eradicate. Sold this on eBay, as well as this little Wedgwood uh, Gold Medallion. Creamer, I love these. Look at the honeycomb on there, isn't it so pretty? That also sold on eBay as well, so I'll get those shipped out. But I'm getting ready to have my first live sale today on YouTube, um, and then we'll have our second one on Vamp. And then we're gonna go out to dinner with Jaden tonight. So, ah, getting ready to go live in five minutes, and I sold something on Vamp. Let me grab it. It's you, little telephone guy. Mr. Well, I guess I always say he's talking on a telephone, but I don't think he is. He's just a little planter. So this sold on Vamp, so I will get him ready to ship out as well. Alrighty, Vamp. Well, YouTube sale is done. I sold all of these items on during my YouTube sale. And then I sold these during my Vamp sale. So it was a good day of sales. I am going to get all of these items shipped in the morning. That's about it. That was Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so tomorrow is shipping day, which I absolutely love. So I probably will pop in and we'll do a little bit of a ship with me. We we'll probably will do that weekly. And I was just sitting here thinking, I have really got to start getting my booth set up for the pop-up. It's almost here. Friendly reminder that I am opening up my space here in Bedford, Indiana on June 20, gosh, 29th, 27th. I'll put the graphic up. I get those two days confused for some reason. But um, opening it up for the shop, so there's a lot of stuff going on in the square that weekend. There's a parade for the 4th of July. There is live music. There is farmer's market. There is um, food trucks all right outside the door of the shop. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So if you're able to come, I would love to see you here um, and come and hang out and explore Bedford and Lawrence County a little bit. I will be providing everybody with a sheet of all of the surrounding stores that are in a drivable distance. So um, that way you can go out and explore and do some good picking, good picking yourself. So I've got to get started on getting my booth set up. I've been taking, Dad had those Tonka trucks over there, but I've been pilfering them and selling them in my vamp sale. He did just recently get these little bugs. He knows that they're newer, but he thinks that they're cute. <laughs> so that's adorable. So he's starting to get some little things set up. These cars are really cool though too. They're not vintage enough for me to sell on vamp, um, but I think that they're really pretty neat. I love this pink. What are you, a Cadillac? I don't know. But aren't they cool? Does it say on the bottom? Franklin Mint. What does it say, 1987? Mm. I don't know, we'll see. But I think that they're pretty neat. And then I just have these two Tonka trunk trucks left. I'm probably gonna bring those. Might as well, I got these two left. This one actually comes with its little, whatever that track, scooper tractor is. But he's starting to get a few little things in his booth. Um, we are going to put up more tables and, you know, set him up some more area. He can put up things up here as well, but it's coming together. It needs to come together. I just got to get, I got to get focused on it, but okay. I am going to end the vlog and I'm on my way home and I'm going to make dinner and just kind of relax a little bit tonight. 
No, I do have a video to edit. So I'm going to edit a video tonight and spend a little bit of time with Mark. But thank you for spending some time with me today. Tomorrow is just kind of a boring, boring shipping day. But we'll do some shipping together. We'll read our affirmations and, and all that. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the Virtual Antique Marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Ball head and man put his hair in the middle. Red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down. Girl, I'm a sweetest one in town. You can search for my.